All right, guys, so this one's actually completely unexpected. We did not expect for Khalifa to get a Zenkai. Now, I, for one, am extremely excited for the Zenkai. When she first came out, she was an absolute problem to deal with. Her strike damage, especially against Saiyans, did a tremendous amount of damage. Now, she still does a tremendous amount of damage before Zenkai. So, we're going to discuss what she does now with her Zenkai, partially her abilities, and as well as her stats as of right now, and what we can expect from her Zenkai and her teams because rival of the universe and girls are shaping up to be quite the team guys can you can you imagine if she's really good very similar to zenkai 18 uh because they're both melee types and you add on vitals into the mix yeah that's gonna be absolutely nasty guys so let's break down what we see here so they just tweeted this um basically she changes her blast arts cards into strike cards very similar to uh 18 in a way uh, with her special arts and her main ability also lets her draw a strike card next so um not much to go off of here but she also deals extra damage to sane enemies she's ready to fight so that's pretty much all they gave out here now let me tell you something guys usually for female warrior characters or girls not that they call it girls they usually tend to make their zenkais i mean there's only been one in 18 but characters that aren't really like let's just say broly gogeta hype characters they usually tend to make their zenkais extra good just because it compensates for it not being a hype character and then it intends people to pull more so i foresee her being really really good now let's look at her current stats right now her current stats are actually pretty good if you just look at her strike attack so this is her max out level 5014 stars so uh we see her strike attack at 246 000, guys that is really good that is really good and a very notable hp as well as in 2.24 and as well as her blast attack is at 210 which is nothing too special at all that's actually kind of bad her strike defense is at 152 which is subpar and her blast defense is subpar as well but that that's normal just because she hasn't gotten a zenkai yet but she is a melee type unit guys and i completely forgot what she does so let's uh let's take a quick read here and see what she does but also comment in the comment section below if you guys expected this I, for one, did not expect this whatsoever. Uh, this came out absolutely out of the blue. She can fit into Rival of the Universes, uh, Girls, and even Saiyans if you really want to be creative. But uh, yeah, so her main ability is uh, Dependable Sis. Restores own key by 50. Okay, so right there, that's actually really good. That doesn't need to change at all because that, even for an old unit, that's actually really good. So restores key by 50 plus 40 to strike damage inflicted for 15 timer counts cancels own attribute downgrades and it takes 20 seconds for you to activate this now 40 percent to strike damage is incredible is incredible uh and as well as gain uh 50 key and on top of this guys we can also see that she now uh, with her main ability also gets another strike card too so uh yeah the only thing that needs to be changed here is i would say make this 20 timer counts instead of 15 timer counts uh, but really, really good. I mean, really good main ability for an old unit, to be honest with you guys. But it gets much better because uh, it says here anti sane strike up, I mean, strike attack up. So plus 40% to strike damage inflicted against Saints. So that's already an 80% strike damage versus Saints. If she gets a hold of Zankai Super Saiyan 3 Goku, it's GG, guys. It's GG. So really good. And uh, it cannot be canceled, obviously. Next up, we have Don't Run Away. While this character is on the battlefield, the falling effects occur when enemy switches. She gains key by 30 and plus 15% strike inflicted per tag girls battle member for 10 timer counts. Now, this could get tremendously overhauled. You can even add a rival of the universes in this, to be honest with you guys. Uh, so that's that's something I, I kind of see happening. Her being more involved with not only girls, but rival of the universes. Because right now I'm top like what, 500, 300, 200, some, something like that. But in PvP, and all I run into is Vados, Topo, Jiren. Uh, they're they're really good. Like Bergamo, extremely underrated. And I mentioned that on my Twitter. Uh, I'm hyped for this character. Now, obviously this can drastically change. Everything else looks okay. Uh, just this needs to drastically change. Like 15% uh, strike damage inflicted per, per tag a girl's battle member for 10 timer counts i mean that's already really good because then that would be uh like what 30 extra percent damage strike so her strike damage possibly gonna match up with 18 which is absolutely bonkers like it, it's insane can you imagine 18 and her on the same team guys I, all this needs now is a nice rebrand to balance out the defensive unit in the mix because i feel like 
all units needs a defensive type of unit and i mean all teams needs like a mixture of attack and defensive type of units so that's really cool too her strike attack is normal blast attack is normal obviously her special move is crush cannon deals major explosive damage inflicts enemy with attribute downgrades plus 20 percent to strike damage received jesus christ like her her stri her strike damage is gonna be doing a lot uh so her okay so her green card is i can these pop-ups i'm sorry for these pop-ups but her green card is i can feel the tingle and this is all pre zenkai guys don't forget this is only gonna get better but an extra 20 percent strike damage inflicted for 20 time accounts and she holds two strike cards at that and as well as uh, her Z ability is uh, Universe 6 and uh, Tag Girls plus 33% to Strike Attack. Now, I believe this is probably going to be mixed in also with uh, her Z ability, her Zenkai Z ability. It's probably going to be rival of the universes if I, if I have to guess. Uh, I don't see it being girls as much as it is rival of the universe. Just because rival of the universe is so relevant right now. It's like... I'm telling you guys, I'm, right now I'm like the top 500. All I see, I see a majority of Rival of the Universe. I see just as much Rival of the Universe uh, as pretty much anything else, honestly. Like, And that would actually even buff this purple new hit. So that would be quite exciting to see, guys. And uh, this is what the Rival of the Universe tag is looking like. Not much to go off of here, but the characters that they have is really good. I mean, Jiren, I believe, is extremely underrated. He definitely needs more love. He, he, I'm t he, I got whooped by Jiren the other day. I barely pulled it through the whole match, but he was whooping me with Jiren with his blast armor, with his green card locking me in, and all that good stuff. Like, hit, hit, Jiren's no joke, guys. He does a tremendous amount of strike damage. Hit as well, although he's a slight uh, glass cannon, but once he get a hold of you, once he gets a hold of you, it's pretty much GG, guys. It's pretty much GG. And we got Vados, probably like the core unit of the whole team. And as well as Toppo, which heals and has endurance and also does amazing strike damage. We have Chompa and we have Dispo. I mean, this team is extremely good, guys. I'm telling you. I mean, if you guys play PvP, you guys know. All you see right now is Rival of the Universe. Now, if we just take a look at the tag girls, let's just sneak in really quick and take a, t um, uh, you know, let's just take a gander to see what we're dealing with here. So, uh, kind of outdated, but not really in a way because uh, they still have Android 18, although she doesn't supply the tag itself. But they have Android uh, Green 21, and they have uh, Kefla still a little bit getting outdated at this point, but she's still dangerous. I mean, overall. And now uh, Android 21, the Zenkai Blue one is also another good option. So yeah, a lot of really, a lot of really good options. But I see her mainly in, um, yeah, I see her in Rival of the Universes, guys. Rival of the Universes already doesn't need as much help. But now, you know, I mean, now that, uh, now that, not only this hit is gonna be buffed, but I don't even think they're gonna be using this hit as much as the, uh, the new Zenkai, uh, uh, you know, purple. So th this could be a toss up because I don't know if. I don't know if she's going to buff. I'm trying to think. What else can she buff besides Rival of the Universe? I mean, she can buff girls, but why would they buff girls like two months before? Less than two months away from the anniversary. So that makes no sense. But all in all, guys, I'm extremely excited. She's going to do a tremendous amount of strike damage and especially towards Saiyans. But yeah, guys, let me know in the comment section below if you guys are going to summon for her. But uh, yeah, guys, I will also um, post another video tomorrow for some leaks to see what else is going to come out for the game to keep you guys updated. So... Def catch you guys on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.